The Chief Toka Reservoir receives $7 million in new funding. Cedar High School revisits the Redman mascot and a new hot chicken spot in Southern Utah. You're watching St. George News at five. Good afternoon, I'm Christy Langenheim. In a groundbreaking announcement day on Wednesday, the Commissioner of the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation revealed a significant boost in funding for the Ash Creek Project. Maury Kessler has more from the conference and what they plan to do with the money. Local, state, and federal officials gathered at the construction site of the dam for the Chief Toker Reservoir Wednesday afternoon for a special announcement from the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation. Reclamation Commissioner Camille Tutin said the federal agency was putting $7 million toward the construction of the reservoir, which adds to the $4.7 million the agency invested in the project last year. Among those gathered at the event were Joel Ferry, Director of the Utah Department of Natural Resources, and Congresswoman Celeste Malloy. While speaking with reporters, Ferry noted how beneficial the federal funding will be while Malloy spoke to it being an example of how water projects should be done. So the, the local community has, uh, through the water district, through the county, has invested millions of dollars in this project and the state has as well. This is, this is a, a piece of a much bigger project, but having the federal partnership as well really shows this is, um, you know, at the forefront of, of smart conservation, smart water use, smart planning. For this community and so yes this uh the seven million dollar investment the federal government has made today is is critical and is so important it helps us keep this project going and to completion it's a great example of how water projects should work i get asked about water more than probably any other issue and i always say water is a state issue the state needs to take the lead make their plan decide what they want to do with water and once they do that then the federal government has a responsibility to back up the state on their plan and this is what's happening here today the water conservancy district planned for this reservoir the state's on board the local governments are on board and now the federal partners are coming in and helping get it built and it's an example of how this is supposed to work but it doesn't always work this way, so I'm really excited to see it happening. Once built, the Chief Toker Reservoir will have a capacity of 3,600 acres of water and is expected to provide approximately 1,700 acre feet of water annually. It is also anticipated to be a new source of water-based recreation that could end up becoming a new state park similar to Quail Creek or Set Hollow. Thanks, Maury. Controversy in Cedar City is brewing once again as the long-standing debate over Cedar High School's mascot resurfaces. More than five years after the Iron County School Board decided to retire the Redmen name, the decision to possibly change it back has sparked discussion among locals. Arguments began after the school board voted to place the issue on an upcoming election ballot. This led to a debate during a recent Iron County School District Board of Education meeting that lasted for more than three hours. However, some legal hurdles might prevent the issue from appearing on the ballot, leaving the fate of the mascot's name uncertain. And now I'm going to send it over to Sheldon and Amy to give us a breakdown of some fun events happening this weekend in Southern Utah. That's right, so many great events happening this weekend. Especially right here, right behind us at the Electric Theater. Desertscape Film Festival, year six. It's going to be wild premieres and films from all over the world. And you guys have been waiting. The Hurricane Easter Car Show is back. Over 300 cars on display, plus great food, fun for the whole family. Easter Car Show right there in Hurricane. And Chuacon has some cool events going on this weekend. Oh, man, they got bull riding, and not just any bull riding, man. They don't ch chase calves or a rope around a barrels, man. It's bull riding straight up, and it's wild. And our favorite Lee Bryce is at Tuacon on Saturday. What a weekend of events. Find out the full list of events on our TGIF listing on stgeorgenews.com. Now back to you in the studio. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And while you're out and about this weekend, a new hot chicken restaurant has just popped up in St. George, welcoming those in search of a spicy meal. Jesse Bang has more on the opening of Houston, Texas Hot Chicken. A new hotspot is heating up the St. George culinary scene. Houston, Texas Hot Chicken just celebrated its grand opening on March 9th, which drew in crowds of over 1,200 people. Franchise owner Cody Steck said what sets their chicken apart is the quality and taste. They're all about keeping it real with all natural, antibiotic, and hormone-free, responsibly sourced, free-range goodness that's fresh and never frozen. Chicken spice levels go from mild to hot, then up fiery notches to their spice level liftoff. The hottest spice level, Houston We Have a Problem, requires a waiver before consuming. Thanks, Jesse. Mark your calendars for April 8th because a rare total solar eclipse will be visible throughout North America. While Utah won't be the best location to view the anomaly, you can still expect a stunning partial eclipse that will last over four hours. Don't miss out on this incredible view, as the next major eclipse won't happen until 2033. Also, remember to protect your eyes with specialized glasses for a safe experience. 
And now I'm going to send it over to Cannon Seacrest to give us a look at some high school baseball games being played tonight. Thanks, Christy. That's right. The high school baseball games have all been moved up to tonight. Pineview is headed over to Snow Canyon, and these two teams played earlier this week, and the Warriors came out on top in a close game, 6-3. to Cedar will be coming down tonight to play against Crimson Cliffs, and on Tuesday, these two teams faced off, and the Mustangs got the win in just five innings with a final score of 12 to nothing. And the last game tonight is Hurricane at Desert Hills, and although the Tigers outhit the Thunder 9-7 in their game earlier this week, the Thunder came away with the win 12-5 over the Tigers. And if you can't make it out to any of these games, you could still sit on your couch and watch the Pineview versus Snow Canyon game on the Fan Sports Network tonight at 7.30. Now back to you, Christy. Thank you for watching St. George News at 5. I'm Christy Langenheim with St. George News, your number one source for local news. This has been St. George News at 5.